Did you identify the mystery house? It's here, in the vibrant DuPont Circle neighborhood of Washington, D.C., that brewmaster Christian Heyrich built his ornate home. It was modeled after the style and fashion of the houses from his childhood in Germany. He built with the newest fireproofing materials available at the time, poured concrete and steel. Today, the Christian Heyrich House is home to the Historical Society of Washington, D.C., and is open to the public. Welcome back to Dream Builders. I'm Scott Morgan. The setting here at Sugarloaf Mountain in Maryland is peaceful and solitary, far from the bustle of downtown city life. But as we see in our next story, being near the city and closer to work is exactly where some people want to be. Kay Bassam has worked for the city of Plano, Texas court system for years, but until recently couldn't afford a home here. Plano is a relatively affluent community, and mid to low income housing is scarce. Kay and her family had resigned themselves to years of saving before they could buy their own home. But then Kay heard about a new program that would give first time home buyers a leg up. She put in an application. When we, we learned we were going to get this house, we, uh, we came to the location where it was and there was an empty lot. And we're trying to imagine what this house is going to look like. And we watched the foundation being poured. We watched the walls go up. We watched the ceiling being put on. And it was like nothing we'd seen before. And we knew it was ours. The Plano Housing Corporation spearheaded this new program because of people like the Bassams. I think it's important because every individual who works in the city of Plano, especially those individuals who work in jobs that aren't considered high-income jobs, shouldn't be forced to commute an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes to work every day. And plus, if they live in the city of Plano, their local tax dollars are then reinvested back in the local community. The Plano Housing Corporation provides interim financing to help get families into new homes but then the buyers take on the full financial responsibility. The city brought in builder Steve Brown for the project. Steve has built a reputation on bringing high-tech energy efficiency to a market he calls America's workforce. Workforce housing uh, is sold to people with an income of approximately 80% of the median. Uh, their buying power is less and they need the best house that they can get for their money. Steve realized that the initial home purchase wasn't the only financial stumbling block for workforce buyers. There were also long-term costs, like maintenance and utility bills, to consider. He tackled all the issues by designing an affordable, low-maintenance, energy-efficient home. What we do different in workforce housing from other builders is we provide a high-energy, high-technology structure along with the geothermal heat pump, tankless hot water heater, typically more expensive products, and we provide this in the affordable market. To minimize heating and cooling costs, Steve built his homes of low-maintenance structural insulated panels. They're solid sandwiches of polystyrene and chipboard that incorporate structure and insulation in one unit. Steve compares SIP buildings to styrofoam coolers. Once you cool or heat the air inside, it stays that way longer. Steve's homes also use a geothermal HVAC unit. It circulates water through underground pipes to utilize the constant underground temperature for heating and cooling. The units are more expensive, but bills are much lower. Finally, Steve has chosen a tankless hot water heater for his affordable homes. This newer technology saves electricity by heating water only as it's needed. But are first-time buyers interested in a high-tech home? Sylvia London says it took a little education. Well, I wasn't afraid of the technology, um, basically because the builders went through, explained everything to me, um, showed me everything that they were using um, as far as the heating, um, the air conditioners, and even within the, just the structure of the home, um, what they were building the homes with. And I said, go for it. So that's what I did. <laughs> But these homes aren't just energy machines. There are unexpected aesthetic touches as well, like cathedral ceilings in most rooms, fashionable stained concrete floors, and a ledge that disguises electrical conduit. But for Sylvia, the bottom line is the bottom line. Running the air conditioner in the summertime, um, it actually helps to keep the cost down, um, where I'm noticing basically the same type of energy bill um, that I had in an, a one-bedroom condo. I mean, I have it in a three-bedroom house, and it stays comfortable in every room. 
These affordable, energy-efficient homes have been quite a hit in Plano and Dallas. The design so impressed local builders, they built and auctioned one off for charity. But for Kay Bassam and other new owners, it's the opportunity to own a first home that's most exciting. And you can have your own flower beds, and you can plant a vegetable garden, and you can put paint on the wall if you want to. It's special to be a homeowner. Just ahead, how far would you go for a room with a view? A one-of-a-kind window is next when Dream Builders returns. <laughs>